I've been dreaming on in my head like I've seen it A life worth living is a life worth Hello everyone and welcome back to another video on Breaches and Sweats. It is currently 8.23 in the morning. It is Saturday, January 9th. And so I have just a lot of little things that I wanted to get done today and I figured why not bring you guys along. I have a lesson today at 11. Basically last night I finished my last class of my first semester, which oh my god i'm so happy about that i've never been so happy to be done with the class oh my god i am starting my second semester on monday so i figured today would be kind of a reset day getting everything organized i woke up like 7 20 7 30 something like that i made some breakfast i have my obsession of an open face peanut butter and jelly still and then i had um some energy balls and if you want to see how to make the perfect energy balls. I will leave the link to the blog post I did about that down below. So yeah. It is currently 9.40, so we're about to go, but I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of what I'm wearing. So just my typical kind of Lulu ace belt, equilined with the dreamers and schemers. I have a shipment coming in today um, with a bunch of horse stuff, and I was really hoping it's gonna get here in time before we go. It's kind of looking like it's not gonna get here in time, which kind of stinks. Here we go. Typically when I go to the barn in the morning, um, I'm pretty full. Um, so I like to kind of have something small because I know I'll be home at lunchtime, um, but some things kind of carry me over. So I usually bring two options. So I have a Cliff Bar Mini. This is a crunchy peanut butter or the Cascadian Farm Chewy White Chocolate Chip Granola Bar. I just got here with Lulu. She's tired, huh? And so I'm going to get her all brushed up and hop on. I think it's like 10.35, so we got a while, huh? lessening and we Nat actually has two hockey games today and was exhausted so um I am going to be doing Floydy today so I have to go out and get him uh, my mom took Lux so that we could be as efficient as possible and then I'll take him back to poultice him and everything so good today he felt absolutely incredible he was just amazing and oh I love him Floyd is now where Lux usually goes so I'm heading all the way to the back to go get him and then i'll hop on him and probably just do kind of a quick hack just to see how he feels because he only lunged yesterday too and yeah that's kind of it so far usually my mom will help me out with tacking up one of them while i deal with the other and helps me out a lot so i appreciate it mom uh yeah let's go get flight hi I am not the person you wanted to see. Hmm. Hi, Bevis. He's so handsome. You best boy. Hi, everyone. Here's Bevis. And Mom. Mom. Here you go. Hi, I love you. 
Okay, I am back now. It is currently 3.49, so a little bit later, but I think I'm going to kind of get into everything with organizing, so I'll kind of show you guys what the deal is. I have my desk here, um, and I have all these drawers. I've shown them in my previous, my previous videos, I've shown them, but I kind of just want to reorganize them, kind of go through and see what I need, what I use, and what I don't really need. It's kind of like reorganizing stuff and kind of getting things ready so that Monday kind of will be smooth and I'll be a little bit more organized since I kind of understand like what I need and what I don't need. So yeah, that's kind of, I think, the plan for that. <laughs> So it is a couple hours later and I've been obviously cleaning and working on my room, but we also started kind of putting up my wall stuff that's going here. So I'm really excited about that. So we just got up this other shelf. That shelf was up there as you saw, but this one was not. And then I have a couple of like paintings, pictures type of thing that's going to go up there and then my room and all of its wall stuff will be complete. And we also did my closet, which I can show you too. So yeah. <laughs> okay, I still have you facing this way, but this is the closet, it's my wall baby. And then I have like two kind of like, uh, what are they called? Like bulletin board kind of things um, on either side of my wall baby. So I did take a before video. And there's still some things to be done, but I wanted to show you kind of the aftermath. So let's go. <laughs> so glad that this is all done and that i can have my books and everything up there and oh it makes me so happy it is a lot later now it is 7 22 so a lot later but i had dinner and dessert and they were so good um and so now and like kind of reset i haven't really talked about that i guess but like in the whole reset mindset um i am going to shower and like re-blow dry my hair hair is so greasy so i just kind of want to reset that okay, so a couple of blog posts ago i talked about skincare and you know the importance of it especially as an equestrian whether you're in summer or winter skincare is really important but i decided to do a pore strip to kind of help um make sure all of the Bleh, that has gotten into my pores um gets out and but yeah you don't know how dirty your face gets when you ride um i do a face wipe after i ride every time and bleh, there's always so much dirt bleh, all over and you don't realize it and that's probably why you're starting to break out if you are breaking out that's kind of my tip slash insight into skincare for equestrians Okay, first of all, this is so cool. Everything is up and oh my god, I love it. And yes, I do have plans to share a lot of book videos because I love my books. Okay, kind of a weird setup and angle here, but for the rest of the night, I will be reading and I love my Kindle. It's the best thing ever. People worry that they want the 
book experience with holding the book, I see no different really. I almost prefer my Kindle because it's so portable and I can be anywhere and be reading and I can also be comfortable in reading. And it's also very cost effective because of it so that I have an online library so that I can borrow books and just send it right to my Kindle like you would kind of a regular library. Right now I'm reading The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue and this was a book that I've been wanting to read forever and I finally decided it, to start it this year. So it's the first book that I'm starting in 2022 and I'm like 35% in and I like it so far. I think now it's really intriguing. The first probably like 20% of the book was really slow a little confusing and I also questioned the plot which I've realized is one of my least favorite things about books even movies or tv shows or anything where there's no actual plot so I kind of worried that like what this plot was going to happen but now something really interesting is happening I'm really excited to kind of now get into it and kind of really see who these characters are and not just like these very superficial understandings of each character so I'm really excited about that I'm going to read for the rest of the time before I head to bed and then I'll kind of just touch base with you guys right before I head to bed, I guess. Oh boy. All right. Uh, it is around 10.08, I think, right now. Um, and I am about to head to bed. I am very tired. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys kind of enjoyed seeing what my life was like kind of resetting myself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.